Hi, I'm Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is in the Knife Series playlist. We're going to be looking at this Smith's Hunt and Fish Sharpener. There we go, has a close-up on it. Now, I did purchase this at Walmart, I believe. I purchased it at Walmart for five bucks or so. Can't quite remember. But... It is what it is, right? Now, Smith's has been around since the 1880s or the 1860s. I can't quite remember. Uh, since 1886, right here on the cover. Since 1886. And uh, let's see. Hunt and Fish Knife and Hook Sharpener. Quickly sharpen knives and hooks. Lightweight and portable. It also cuts the fishing line right here. So, let's crack this thing open and see what's in here. I have this knife that we used earlier on a sharpening video. Let's take this and cut this blister pack open. There we go. I'm trying not to tear the back of it because it's got some information on the back of this card I'm going to go over. Okay, here's the overall size compared to the palm of my hand. There we go. So it's about the same size as my palm. Has a rubber grip on this side. Left-handed, right-handed, whichever way you want to use it. Rubber grip on bottom. Pretty comfortable. No issues with that at all. Okay, has the, the coarse and the ceramic here. Coarse and fine. And the hook sharpener down here in the bottom right here right here in the bottom and here is the line cutter let's see if I can get a good picture of that there we go now I'm not a fisherman and I don't have any fish hooks so I can't go over that portion but that does look like a just like a regular ceramic well not ceramic but regular sharpening stone that you would find and this looks like a, a dull knife right here. It looks like one of these. Just laid out a little bit different. On the bottom it has numbers. C001901. Now I don't know what that means, but it means something to somebody. It has a lanyard hole right here in the bottom. Hmm, pretty comfortable. I like the size of this one. Let's read the bottom of this package. It has the directions on how to use this. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. This is item number. It's in the barcode right here. Item number 50410 C12133.004. So, we got this old knife right here. I found a three pack of these at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for all of them. And I have this piece of rock right here. There we go. And I am going to show you. I'm going to take this blade, run it on this rock. Hoping you can hear that so there's no trickery involved in here. Go this way with it. That did dull it pretty good. Good enough to do the test on the sharpener. Let's move this piece of rock aside. Now since I did use the rock, I'm going to start with the course first. And listen for the sound of this. The grittier it sounds, the worse this is. I can feel all the little... Feels like somebody chopping, chopping rocks with it. Let's listen for this sound. There you go. Pretty rough sounding. If you can hear it, Clearly, the more I pull it through, the more times I pull it through, the smoother 
it sounds. There you go. Getting better and better every time. Now I'm pulling it kind of like this, putting a little twist on it as I'm getting towards the end. Pretty comfortable. Now if you notice, here is the and here is the knife. I cannot take the blade completely into the sharpener. It stops about right here, just like it did on the other Smith sharpener. Because the way this handle is made, it won't let the blade go completely in there. I don't know if that would be an issue for you or not. You have to make your own discretion on that, your own, your own opinion. It is getting smoother and smoother. Go through this a few more times right here. Getting better and better on every stroke. There we go. I can definitely tell a difference in it. But, it might just be my imagination, I'm not sure, but one side looks like it has a bigger or wider grind on it than the other side. Let's see if I can show that in. There we go. See this side? See how wide that grind is? Let's see if I can flip it over. Maybe not. It might, it's probably close enough to the same. But you can see how right here on the end, you can tell where I start sharpening because it won't go all the way into the sharpener itself. Let's give that a few more strokes on here. Trying to get the tip pulling out. I'm kind of pulling up on the end so the tip goes all the way through. Yep, getting smoother and smoother. Okay, I don't feel a burr on here, but we're gonna go ahead and go over to the ceramic side, which is fine. You hear that? Let's see how smooth we can get that sounding. Getting better and better. Let's just do this a little bit. See what happens if I do that. That's definitely not as sharp as it can be. Let me go through here ten more times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you see on here on the ceramic rods, you can tell where I had the knife laid in there and pulled it back, little black spots. Now, I wish there was a way. That you could rotate these rods or turn these knobs to be on a fresh surface. Now, I don't believe there's any way of taking this apart. No, there's not. So that's the one downfall of this sharpener. Okay, y'all saw me run it across the rock, go through the coarse and the fine. Let's see how this thing cuts. Not the best. It could use a few more passes in the fine side, I believe. 
but it is definitely a lot better than what it was after I ran it through the rock, right? I'm sure you'll agree with that. There we go. This is just regular copy paper from my computer. Anyway, not a bad tool here. Not a bad tool. So if you're in the market for a nice little sharpener to keep in your tackle box, keep in your glove compartment or your truck or your car, keep in your toolbox, for the price, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Of course, the price is going to vary where you buy it from, but I don't think you'll be sorry you bought it. My name is Carl. I'd appreciate it if you leave some kind of comment below. If you have one of these, if you like it, if you don't like it, just do some kind of interaction with us. Maybe you can give me some more highlight on what you like about this, what you would use it for. If you've given it as a gift and got some kind of reaction from it, appreciate you being with us today.